The all-new Realme X is one of the best mid-range smartphones in the market today as it offers great value for your money in terms of hardware specifications. However, I'm not a big fan of Realme's ColorOS or the stock camera app on the phone. Despite the fact that the device includes support for the Camera 2 API, the stock camera app doesn't let you manually adjust the shutter speed or capture photos in RAW, which is a bummer. So if you want to use your phone's camera to its fullest, you need to try out some third-party apps and we have got 4 really good ones for you today. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tank and let's get right to it, shall we? Let's kick things off with the HCam 2, a powerful camera app that packs in all the manual controls you'll need to capture great shots. The app is based on the open camera source code and includes some major improvements over the popular open camera app. It also has a slightly more modern interface which offers some customization options allowing you to move UI elements around depending on the features you use most frequently. As far as the features are concerned, the app includes complete manual controls, a handy HDR mode and the ability to capture photos in RAW format which gives you the freedom while you're editing the photos later on. On top of that, HCam 2 also includes a cool advanced selfie mode with which you easily can take selfies through voice commands or facial recognition. Now that's pretty cool, right? Next up, we have Adobe Lightroom, one of the most feature-packed photo editing apps on the Play Store that also happens to have a pro camera mode built in. Yes, you heard me right. The app packs in a capable camera utility which you can access by tapping on the camera icon in the bottom right corner. And once you're in the camera interface, you can switch to the pro mode by tapping on the auto option right next to the shutter button. In the pro mode, you'll be able to control the focus, ISO, white balance and shutter speed to capture that perfect shot. And if you want to capture photos in the RAW format, you can easily switch to it by tapping on the file format icon at the top. One of the best things about using Lightroom as your main camera app is that it also lets you edit your photos then and there so that you don't have to worry about dealing with another app before you post your photos on Instagram. Speaking of which, have you checked out our Instagram profile yet? Well, you can find us at Guiding Tech or just follow the link in the description down below. Make sure to hit the follow button if you like what you see because we have been posting some really cool photos and videos there lately. Moving on, now let's take a look at Footage Camera, another great camera app that brings together all the features you would expect from a pro camera app and presents them in a modern, clean and easy to use interface. With the app, you'll be able to make use of all the Camera 2 API features including complete manual controls and raw image capture. But the most unusual thing about the app is definitely going to be its ability to map different focus and exposure points in a frame, something that I haven't seen in any other camera app. Rounding things off is arguably the best camera app that you can have on just about any Android device, the Google Camera Mod. Yes. The Google Camera Mod is now available for the Realme X and you can download it by following the link in the description. However, there are a couple of things you should note before you use the Gcam Mod on your phone. As you'd already know, the mod is always a bit unstable and some of its features don't work properly. Well, it's pretty much the same in this case as well. When you first install it, you'll notice that the viewfinder remains black. Don't worry, there's an easy fix. Just jump into the camera settings, scroll down to the About section and enable the Advanced Mode. With just that, the camera should start working. Now, when you click Photos with the modded camera app, you'll notice that the saturation levels are a bit off. In order to fix that, you'll once again have to head over to the settings and select HDR plus controls option. Here, select Saturation Adjustments and then adjust the highlight and shadow saturation for both the front and the back camera. Since saturation levels are all about personal preference, I'd suggest that you tinker around with the settings a bit to get the results you like. And with just these two adjustments, you'll be able to start taking some stunning shots with the Gcam mod. So now that you know which camera apps will help you take the best photos with your new Realme X, 
which one are you going to pick? Well, I personally prefer the Google camera mode over everything else just because of the fact that it captures the most details in almost all lighting conditions. But I do like Lightroom as well because of its editing features. Let us know which one you like the best in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to GT for more such amazing videos. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.